YouTubers. Here we have a very rare guitar, referred to as a rhinestone strat, or sometimes as a John Douglas strat. John Douglas being the sculptor that actually created the body. He also made Guy the Gorilla sitting next door to the guitar. There's a lot of misinformation in the media out there about these guitars, but I'm going to give you all the correct information now. You will either love this guitar or hate it. There's no in-between for it. You certainly can't ignore it. Let's give you a quick history lesson while we look at the reverse of the body. Ivor Arbiter, the UK distributor of Fenders in the mid-70s, contacted a near neighbour of his, John Douglas, and asked him about making some guitars out of copper or bronze. John made six guitars out of cold cast bronze or cold cast copper. This is where you mix filings of metal with resin. Uh, it's cold to the touch and gives the appearance of being a solid object when it's in fact hollow. The guitars were put on display at the Soho Soundhouse in London. There was a fire there and most of them were destroyed. A couple escaped the flames and I did manage to buy one. I hung on to it a few years but then sold it to a collector friend of mine. Here's a close-up of John Douglas's signature and to the right you'll notice the date 1975. This is obviously from the time when Ivor Arbiter was in touch with him. I always regretted selling that guitar and in 1989 I got in contact with John. He was quite elderly then. I asked him if he could cast me a single guitar body. He gave me a price and he said the price was the same as it would be for 25 guitars as it was the mould that entailed all the work. Now there are a few subtle differences between the original issue of six guitars and the guitars that I had made. You could argue that the original six guitars that Ivor Arbiter commissioned could be called Fender Strats, but these guitars that I had made are just Stratocasters with replacement bodies. If you look by the jack socket, you'll see John Douglas's signature etched in. These denote that it was the second batch of guitars made. When I say guitars, I of course mean that it was the body that John was casting. There we can see his name etched in by the jack socket. So we know that this is the second batch. The other clue that tells you that this wasn't one of the original six guitars, on the reverse of the body, you'll find a seal of authenticity. Let's just zoom in for you. The disc inside the circle gives the addition number. So this is body number 6. Although it says of 50, there are actually only 25 bodies produced, plus a couple of prototypes. It's certainly an interesting guitar. Very sparkly and cold to the touch. Unfortunately, people have been trying to pass these off as Fender Custom Shop guitars, or these later issues have been passed off as one of the original six from the 70s. The bodies were made to accept hardware from a 1970s Stratocaster, large headstock and three bolt. So on my own guitar, I'm using a Fender Japan 70s reissue. Here we can see the three bolt neck plate. And there's the man himself, John Douglas. That previous photograph of John was taken in 1995. Here he is in his studio working on Guy the Gorilla. Here's another shot of his studio. And the sculpture of the lady, actually a mermaid on the left, is very interesting. John used to hire prostitutes to pose for him in the nude. I don't think his wife liked that very much. Here are a couple of photographs of John's life-size Mona Lisa.
Absolutely stunning. Here's John with a life-size Elvis. You can see John's sculptures all over London. In the Savoy Hotel, there's a Churchill in the Churchill Room. At the Britons at War Museum, there's a Winston Churchill. And in Baker Street, you can find a Sherlock Holmes in the Sherlock Holmes Museum. Here's Steve Howe of Yes having a go of my guitar. He didn't really like it, he said it wasn't him. Here's John in the grounds of his home in Hendon with another Churchill. And here he is in the same visit with one of the guitar bodies. John passed away in 1998, aged 86. I hope you found this clip informative. At least now you know a little bit about John Douglas and you'll also be able to tell one of the original six rhinestone strats, we'll call them, from one of the later versions with the seal of authenticity on the back and John's signature etched by the jack socket. Thanks for watching. Yeah.